cleaning engine components for a 1971 high-performance Renault Gordini rally car. G'day world, welcome back to the home of hydroblasting. In today's video, I've been entrusted with cleaning engine components for a 1971 high-performance Renault Gordini rally car. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. Well, this is the first few parts of the Renault engine rebuild. Uh, we've got the timing cover, uh, another small cover, and this thing here. Not quite sure what the role is of this part, but the owners asked me to not make any impact uh, on the inside of it. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll give it a good work over with degreaser and clean all the oil and shit off it. Then we'll blast the outer extremities clean. Okay, let's get into it. I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. Leaping, hopping on a moon shadow. Moon shadow, moon shadow And if I ever lose my hands Lose my plow, lose my land Oh, if I ever lose my hands Away, I won't have to work no more And if I ever lose my eyes All my colors Next up, we're going to have a go at this cylinder head. Uh, pretty straightforward, this one's pretty cruddy, but pretty straightforward. The idea with this is to um, just pop it in the machine and blast the bejesus out of everything. We'll uh, give you a look at that one in a minute when she's all done. Well, that's got the head cleaned up all nice. There's no shit at all left on that, so um, customer's going to be very happy with that, I think. Have a look here. I've started a sticker wall. The idea of this is to promote people and their businesses that support me as customers or support me by watching and sharing content on my YouTube channel. These stickers here are from Heath at the Castlemaine Rod Shop. Heath is a regular customer of mine uh, and his business does all sorts of go fast shit for cars and hot rods. So if that's your thing, look him up. So if any of you uh, guys out there in that big wide world want to add your sticker to the wall, uh, feel free to send me one and I'll chuck it up there. I'll pop my postal address on the channel page and let's see if we can fill that wall. Well, the next thing we're going to have a crack at is this uh, engine block here. There's a fair bit of shit on this, both uh, on the outside and on the inside. The customer wants me to get as much of that stuff out as I can too. So, a bit of work there, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Well, here's that engine block out of the machine. All that oxidation and stuff's gone from that. That's looking a treat, both uh, done inside and out on this. I'll just... Um, I'll just spin it round and give you a look at the other side in the light. And there's the other side of the block in the light. Now, for, here's a good example for all you people out there that think I'm a bit of a negative Nancy when it comes to um, removing paint and uh, clear lacquer and stuff from things. I've blasted the crap out of this oil filter and uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's removed the gloss from it and that's about it. So. So if I sound negative when you're talking to me on the phone about taking paint off and stuff, that's the reason why this machine's just not brutal enough to um, do that sort of stuff. Okay, next in the machine will be these two inlet manifolds. Um, take a good look at them because you won't recognise them when they come back out. Well, I've done one of the manifolds there and I thought I'd give you a side-by-side -side pick of uh, a before and after. So uh, 
you guys can make up your mind as to whether this is a uh, good process or not. Well, there's the two manifolds done. They've come up looking the grouse. And just one for you car lovers out there. Not one gram of precious metal was uh, harmed or removed in the uh, manufacture of this video. Okay, next, last but not least, we've got these two little, um, little windscreen washer things here. We're going to stick them in and give them a blast. They're a bit bumpy, so I think um, old mate's going to have to um, give them a rub over with wet and dry when I'm done, but we'll make them nice and clean anyway. And there we have the little squirty things done. Pretty important piece of equipment on a car, these things, I dare say, because if you can't see out your windscreen, chances are you might hit a tree and fucking die. Well, that's all the Renault stuff done, folks. Uh, done the math on that lot, four hours, 20 minutes. Uh, took a bit longer than normal, but I spent a fair bit of time inside that block uh, removing oil scum and some flaking. I hope you're enjoying these quick videos, folks. I know some of the processes may get a bit repetitive, but uh, I'm trying to cover a fair range of bike and car types so people may get an idea of how their parts may come up. Anyhow, if you do like the content and my rugged good looks, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there, I think it is. But yeah, make sure you hit that button, folks. Thanks again for watching, and uh, don't forget to send me a sticker if you've got one. Uh, hopefully, I'll see a few of you guys again real soon. Until then, bye for now.